<laughs> it's so disappointing, just like the wine. I tell you, Nivea has the best lines. I am loving this show. Uh, thank you for coming back. This is Naturally Mar. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing uh, the BET Presents The Encore, Season 1, Episode 3. Let's get to it. So now we start back to where we kind of ended off the lap last episode. We have Felicia and Keely talking, um, Felicia really trying to make Keely feel a little bit better. Uh, she apologizes to Keely about um, how she attacked her in during Queen's Court and then, you know, apologies are given, they're moving on. While they're doing that, the other ladies are, you know, still working with Aubrey with the vision board coming up with a vision and where they would like to go with the music and stuff like that. Um, some of the ladies would like to do a tribute to their husbands or talk about love and commitment. We don't want to hear about a song about your husbands. However, um, at least, you know, the ideas are starting to flow. They're starting to be in a good place. It seems like they're going to be working with each other. A little while on, we see the ladies in the studio, except for actually Misha and Pam were not in the studio. They're listening to a song that Felicia and Fallon um, wrote, um, which is called Bird's Eye View. It really sounds like a nice piece. Um, we'll see if this is one of the songs they choose to do uh, or not, but the girls are really enjoying it. And, you know, Irish was saying, you know, her sister would really actually love this song. And it goes into a little bit of Irish's story, you know, saying that, you know, when she was younger, and I guess, you know, even with her, her being in the group uh, 702, her family really depended on her. Um, and now she wants to make sure that she has something to leave for her son, right? Next morning, we see that um, Keely says that she wants to turn over a new leaf. We'll see how this goes. Um, and she starts off, um, they're in the kitchen, she starts off by apologizing to Misha for, you know, her behavior the night before. She didn't want to seem like she was um, being d divisive or anything like that. And, you know, Misha accepted her apology and said that she didn't take it. Um, she didn't think that Keely had meant any harm. She thought that actually Keely was being a little bit more, trying to mediate uh, the situation, but it just didn't work out that well that night. Uh, now we also uh, see that the twins and Aubrey decide that they'll um, they want to take the song that um, Fallon and Felicia created called Skeletons. They want to do that one, keep that one for themselves when they're doing it as um, for their group. And um, uh, you know, Fallon says, "Well, maybe we should also communicate that to the rest of the girls so that they know." Uh, Pam had come down at that point um, and they were trying to tell Pam their ideas and then uh, Pam and Aubrey went up to go talk to uh, Misha. Um, they tell her that uh, they're going to be taking the skeleton song and you know Misha was like why you know I really do like that song um, and also Aubrey told her that you know tonight is going to be her night to work with her group to put together, you know, a, one of their songs and that uh, Cosign and Elijah is going to be coming to work with them to do that. So Misha was kind of, you know, not really feeling that, you know, she's already being taken out of a song that she likes or not taken out of a song. That she's not really feeling the fact that they're already making decisions about what songs she can or cannot do. Right. Um, so that starts the mood off for everything. Um, and then we see them in the studio and the ladies are talking and Misha really isn't that confident. She's already downplaying her skills as being a songwriter. Even though she did write a few songs um, with Se for 702, she even wrote songs for Nivea. So she has the skill, but she needs to just practice it. And uh, the twins, uh, Fel and Felicia, are basically telling her, you know what? You know, you can do it. You know, they've worked with a whole bunch of people. They've done um, writing groups for uh, Sony and Universal. So, you know, it's possible. Uh, hopefully they can work together. Um, I see Misha as being a little bit defensive just because she's not confident in her skills. 
The one thing I don't understand is all of these ladies knew they were going to be on the show. So if you know that you're going to be on the show that is involving music, you know, uh, you know, your vocal ability, you know, singing, maybe coming up with new ideas, have something set in, you know, a little something that you have in your own little book. Write down some li lyrics, have something in the tuck so that when you need to pull from it, you have something to help you get that create the creative juices flowing. So that's not as hard to come together to have something like Felicia and Fallon have been in the industry working. So even though they're not in the forefront, they're in the background working. So they're not they're not as um, slow to pick up on, on those skills. They still got them because they're still actively working. Now, while that we see them in the studio and Cosign and Elijah arrive, and you know, the girls are trying to, you know, get to get the, their group together in terms of working, right? Um, and as they're talking in terms of, you know, starting a song or, or writing a song, you know, Cosign, I think it was Cosign who said, um, so who wants to go in the booth? And, you know, Misha was like, not me. Like, she wasn't ready for it. You can kind of see that, you know, she's trying to pull away a little bit. And she actually says that she was starting to feel sick. Like, she's basically starting to have an anxiety attack. Um, and, and leaves because she can't handle it and goes to bed. We do see Iris checking up, checking up on her. And, you know, Iris says that, you know, in the past, you know, she kind of puts her family before her own, own needs to her own detriment. And that you can see that probably has caused problems in the past when she was in the group of 702 and being in the middle uh, between the two girls. So hopefully this works out. Hopefully, you know, it could be a talking point in terms of talking about dealing with anxiety. Um, and even though it came up, hopefully we could see Misha pull through. Right. And this could be, you know, a better experience for her. I was hoping that Misha would have eventually come back downstairs, but she didn't come back. She like left, went to bed. You then see her also um, when in the midst of things, everybody's like, so where's Misha? She never came back. You see her outside smoking. Come on, like if you could be outside smoking, you could have moseyed your way back down just to kind of get yourself feeling a little bit comfortable or tell the ladies what you need to make you feel a little bit more comfortable getting back into writing songs you know that that would have been a start however she never comes back while she's gone the ladies decide you know what they're still going to make the most of their time in the studio and they start doing a song called talking Nivea's flow sounded really good um hopefully this is a song that we actually get to hear or see them perform uh it does sound interesting and um Irish is vocals sounded a lot better this time I must say um, I was quite shocked her voice did sound a lot better um, and the girls had a lot of fun it was seemed to have been a, a good night so we'll see now we get to the next morning I think that someone must have been watching my video when I said it would be nice to see the girls actually actively working more in terms of building their skill. So we see now Pam is working on her dancing skills with Alicia. You know, Pam, uh, Alicia's basically telling her, you know, like you do have a lot of groove or, or swag per se, but it's just for her to get, get the movements, being able to feel comfortable with, you know, getting the steps. So she, at least she's practicing, I must say. Uh, we also then see Keely the twins and Aubrey in the studio and basically wondering where the rest of the girls are. Um, Keely goes up to go and look for them and comes back downstairs because of course they're most likely still sleeping and um, tells them, you know, just play the music loud. Hopefully they'll hear it and uh, they'll come back down, come downstairs to work, right? So what they decided to do since the girls were not um, ready yet um keely not well not keely keely was there um listening in but aubrey and the twins decided to continue working on the song um until the girls get there aubrey basically made the slight comment that oh you know once misha decides to arrive she can you know do the 
oohs and the ahs, basically the ad-libs, not really have anything special to do in the song. Then when Misha finally arrives, you know, she basically said, you know, she had to put her health first, right? Understood if she was dealing with anxiety. I think she could have dealt with it a little bit better. Um, and hopefully it doesn't affect her going forwards, right? So finally, Misha is in the booth. And the part that they give her to sing for um, the song Talking is, yeah. Why let them get me triggered? But she's singing it in a lower octave. And I don't think she's comfortable or she doesn't like how her tone sounds when she was singing it. So she wasn't very comfortable. Um, however, she didn't sound all that bad to me, right? And then we see that, you know, the girls continuing with the songs. Everybody else is, um, comes down and um, Fallon is singing the, the chorus. As she's singing the chorus, she mentioned the, the word ho. Well, now Pam hears this. And Pam is like, nah, that's not gonna fly, right? Um, she didn't like that at all. And mm, give or take, she didn't wanna call any females a ho, right? Fine, Fallon refused to take it out of the song. Uh, to me, you got to pick your battles. Like, really, the word ho isn't really that important. You could have removed it. Considering the time crunch and you guys need to have three songs where everybody is on it, right? So my thing is, why not just take out the word ho? It's not all that important. However, Pam said, you know what? If you want to keep it in there, I don't have to be on the song. I can be on another song. So now that's going to cause another problem because they don't have many songs, right? So the ladies are like, well, do we have another song where all of us can be on it? And then of course they bring up Bird's Eye View. Well, Felicia lets them know that, nah, not everybody can sing that song. And so it looks like she wants, you know, she wants to keep that the way it is, the way they have it right now. So Misha feels that basically the twins want to sing all of the leads. I think Misha is really having PTSD of how her old group was, like how she, her, the feelings that she had when she was in the group 702 and how she felt that she wasn't given the opportunity to have any of the, the lead um, vocals. And I think that's why she's putting that towards uh, Felicia and Fallon and she, you know, pulling all that negative energy towards them when really that's something that's something from her past that she never really resolved and she can't put that all on them you know you have to take responsibility of your part in creating the music as well right and Nivea called did call it shady and she was kind of laughing at the whole drama like okay they're just taking people off of songs then you see Nivea, Sh Shamia, Keely um, and Misha talking in the ch kitchen basically saying that the queen is not doing her job. So talking about Pam, because Pam really isn't saying anything much about the drama. She really isn't giving anybody any orders to say, hey, this is what we need to do. And, you know, things aren't getting very far. Like they're starting things and then they have a hiccup and then they're 10 steps back, right? Um, so we'll see. Then we see the um, Sita calls the girls to uh, the living room seating area and basically, you know, t telling them that, you know what, you're, this is the point in time where you can keep the queen that you have or you can vote in a new queen for the week, right? And the ladies start talking about, she asked the lady how, how, ladies how things are going and everybody's trying to say, oh, you know, everything's, you know, all right, moving along. And Nivea was like, <laughs> Nope. It's a struggle bus. Like, a struggle bus. Everybody is, you know, there's confrontation, people are fighting, and Nivea is the only one who's being honest about the conflicts that's going on, but she's hopeful that things will get resolved, right? Then we see the votes. Everybody's voting, and it was a landslide. Aubrey had six votes, so she is now the new queen. I think what will happen is Aubrey might be able to get some things done 
However, it's going to be very divisive because she's going to put her ideas through for the two groups working towards getting everybody to work separately in smaller groups will be her her idea trying to get that idea across to the ladies um, and this is her chance to have that power to do so uh, now hopefully things go well Keely however feels that differently saying that you know once things get settled the ladies are gonna see what Aubrey's motives really are so it looks like we get to another day um, and we see Aubrey talking and basically the reggae song that they were working on with Cosign and um, Elijah, I guess they're not doing that one together. And I was thinking, well, they have that one song and all of them are on it. Okay. I'm not too sure why they would throw that one out, but okay. Uh, then we see Keely and the twins are in the studio. Um, and basically they can't find magically they can't find Misha's and um, Irish's vocals that they did the other night for talking. Now this is a problem. Um, how can you just not find the vocals? What happened? Really I felt that they deleted them. Like just be honest like maybe you went back and you listened to the vocals and you didn't like the way they sounded so you deleted them and you wanted them to re-record it. All of this said oh can't find their vocals. Okay then, so um, they tell the ladies, of course, this gets Misha into another bad mood think thinking, you know, um, twins just did that on purpose, whatever. So Keely actually is trying to do her part, right? So she's helping um, Irish and Misha re-record their parts, but basically it's like Misha and uh, Irish are now singing the same exact part as um, which is a, uh, the part that Misha originally had. Irish had something different, so it's like they removed her from singing that all together. Not sure why. So, tensions are, are running high because the, uh, uh, Misha was basically talking to Shamia and, um, Sh Shamia and Shamari, Irish, you know, just really about her feelings about the whole thing, thinking that the twins really just want to be the ones taking all the leads and not liking how things are going. So now we get to the dinner time. And, uh, you know, the girls, ladies are asking Aubrey, you know, how do you like being queen? And Misha gets right in there and said, no, sorry, but I need to interrupt. And starts her complaint about how she's, being felt how she doesn't appreciate the way she feels she's being treated like when she's coming down into the studio she's getting um, the twins are like rolling their eyes there's a lot of negative energy like they don't want her to be in the studio and the twins basically get upset because they're not they're like where is she coming from we're all adults if you want to come and do something in the studio you can open your mouth and say hey I want to work on such and such and you all can work together is basically where they're coming from. Now the twins are starting to feel underappreciated because they're creating the so they're writing the songs, they're producing the songs, um, and they're feeling like it's not being appreciated. So basically, they want to take a step back. As they're doing that, of course, then they name drop. Fine, I'll take my songs. I could, and she's and I think it was Felicia who said, I can just take my songs and give them to Justin Bieber and. Ariana Grande. That's the type of behavior that is the whole problem. The whole talking down. Like you're better than the rest of the girls. Which is causing an issue. However, they don't see it that way. So now they're not feeling appreciated. They no longer want to do the songs. And basically Fallon says to keep saying to Misha, well then you do the record. You do the record. Which I can agree, if you don't like what's going on, then you do a record. Write a record, create the melodies, get it together. 
Now, Aubrey can't even get a word in. They're raising their voices. And then when Aubrey starts to talk loud, it was quite funny because the twins were just like, well, you don't have to be speaking so loud to us, even though they were just shouting above everybody else just a while back. Um, Aubrey is getting turned off by how the twins are behaving now. And we'll see what happens because next week it's looking at you know, they show that Pam is recording a gospel song. Um, they also show that all of a sudden, Aubrey is kind of MIA. And while she was MIA, they cut her out of one of the songs and put Shamari to sing the song instead, I think with Fallon Felicia. I don't think she's going to be too happy about that. And I don't think that's going to go well with Aubrey. That's, I think that is, might cause some contention, some arguments there. And I wonder if this is going to be this, the fourth episode, I wonder if it's going to be the last episode that we actually see Aubrey. I wonder if this is going, going to be where she exits. Um, but it all remains to be seen. Anyhow, thank you for watching my video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share my video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.